The reason Clifton community leaders started was they were passionate people who wanted to change their, their community. Back in 2019, we got a lot of great information from doing surveys out in Clifton to understand what our community felt that we needed. Some of the challenges that was pinpointed in the surveys were crime, safe streets, and not having things for kids to do in Clifton, like activity-wise or, or being able to have a park. So they took the power within themselves to make all the changes that we have seen within Clifton. And with the coalition grant that the Colorado Trust has, has been a, willing to provide us, they will be taking the next steps in, in completing a beautiful playground for the whole community. The Clifton community leaders used their culmination grant for their new playground. So there was a playground in their community that was lacking. And there were some safety concerns in that playground as well. There was glass on the playgrounds. There was seats that you didn't really want to sit on. Some parks had needles on the, on the playground all over. So the community leaders got together and said, what do we want? What kind of playground do we want? And if it's going to be community driven, what does that mean? So we looked at going out and talking to community members and talking to youth. So if the playground was up right now, what would you guys play on? The youth kids in Clifton participated in a lot of writing and working on picking colors and designs of the playground. The design of the playground and the celebration of the playground from the beginning to the end, being involved in writing the grant for the playground, all that is all community. We are so excited about the new community park for the Clifton community. It's a great addition to Clifton. You know, kids are real excited. And they're like, when is the groundbreaking gonna happen? When is it gonna be up? Yeah, we're all here. Ready? It's multi-generational, and it's all an inclusive playground. It was really amazing to see that they were including those who are handicapped to be involved in this playground. There are swings that, that instead of parents pushing, we'd be swinging together. So if it's a handicapped child, you could swing with your child. There is a merry-go-round for a kid in a wheelchair to be able to go on there and their mom can go on there, dad can go on there, a couple kids can go on there. We have a teeter-totter that can hold up to six to 12 kids. We're also gonna be having signage that's gonna be in English, Spanish, and Braille. We still have the walking trail. As for the parents, they got some exercise equipment, they can be able to get a workout. We have benches and it's with backs because if Grandparents are taking their grandchildren, they need something for their backs. They felt that it's important that everybody's included in this. This is, gives the community of Clifton and the kids a safe place to be able to go play. It's important that we continue to help our community come outside their homes and enjoy the outdoor green spaces. When you have a, a nice playground, kids are able to exercise. Obesity goes down. Neighborhoods start coming in and playing social connectedness. Everybody starts talking to each other. They're not isolated anymore. The work of the Clifton community leaders over the years has really served to build power in community. And in the community that has been furthest from the opportunity, furthest from decision making that impacts them, these folks are now in places and at tables that they weren't at before. And there's a lot of capacity building that the community leaders did for themselves and for their communities. You can see the power building happening just by virtue of the partnerships that are forming. The next step for that we would like to work on is to complete the rest of the park, to start doing trails within Clifton, soccer fields, skate parks. So there's plans of what we could do so that this community will continue to grow. If you do projects in communities and if they're community driven, great things can happen. And I think that's what people are seeing within this playground. Community-driven projects will do work.